Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a few weeks since I've done my last upload. Apologies for that, just got a bit busy, you know how things are these days. Uh, today I have got the ultimate Q car for you guys. I've got another Audi S8. Now we had an Audi S8 on the channel about a year ago and this car belongs to the same owner as the S8 Plus did. But this one is that little bit more special compared to the S8 Plus now. Some of you guys might be thinking how is the standard SA a bit more special than the SA Plus? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to tell you in this video. So first of all, let's go and have a quick look at this S8. guys here is the s8 now in my opinion this is the ultimate q car now the reason i say that is not only does it just look like a big fat limo but this has got the power to match it as well so as most car enthusiasts will know you can probably distinguish this from like the standard a8 now let's just talk about the car from the front end the grill on this is absolutely massive i don't know why people complain about the grills on like say the new bmws but for whatever reason audi just seem to pull the off that bit better now the owner of this car he's obviously had some body work done to it so you've got the splitter at the front you obviously got all the black badges and then you've got the s8 badge there what i really like is that these lights they're the led matrix lights and at night these look absolutely amazing now, this car's got the upgraded alloy wheels the 21 inch wheels which are the s8 plus so standard these wheels come with like the 20 inch wheels and they have a slightly different design but these wheels just look absolutely amazing and they really do make this car look really striking so this one's also specced with the solar panel sunroof as you can see there's some solar panels in there um, so it's a another option fit to this car now let's just move on to the interior of this car it's got an oyster colored interior and these seats just look absolutely amazing and comfortable i mean look at that for a headrest and so they should be because if you look down here they're probably like 22 or 24 way adjustable it has got the 8-speed zf gearbox which is a brilliant gearbox in my opinion and then the dials as well they're really crisp and what i do like about them is that they are analog i'm a huge fan of analog dials rather than all of these you know kind of digitalized dashboards these days just check how much carbon we've got here we got carbon on the dash we got carbon on the center console we've got carbon on the door cards and what i really like we've <laughs> got carbon on the back seats here and check this out carbon in the center console for the rear passengers we've got massaging cooling heated rear seats and they're obviously reclining as well and fully adjustable amazing and little features like this really finish the car off you've got the aod puddle lights as well and even the kick plates they're illuminated as well and obviously no limo is complete without soft closing doors this features an audi exclusive color which is the cherry black pearlescent paintwork 
it has like a little kind of a, a flick in the in the paintwork which I probably can't see right now because it's getting a bit dark but it really just showcases the whole car it doesn't look like you know just a, a black piece of slab you got like a couple of colors going off so around the back here it's got like that kind of pellicet uh, cherry paintwork so moving around the rear of the car you've obviously got led rear lights this is a facelift car so you've got the facelifted lights and then down the bottom here you've got a catless non-res miltech exhaust pipe which is going to sound absolutely amazing what we're going to do now is give the car a start up but before we do the start up let's go and have a look at the engine bay because this car has got some serious power it has been modified as well so we're going to talk about some of the mods that are under the bonnet and then we're going to give you a start up make some noise in this otherwise quite an empty car park and get some echoes going off as well and then get kicked out of here and hit those kind of back roads and yeah take you for a drive and give you more driving impressions wow what a lump of an engine now obviously we've seen this engine in a number of audi models so this is the familiar four liter v8 twin turbo engine uh stock in an s8 this produces in the region of about 520 horsepower in the s8 plus it produces around 600 horsepower in the rs6 it's also around like say the 600 mark it is essentially the same engine but as this car belongs to my uncle he ain't going to keep this car stock like the way he did with the s8 plus so this car has been tuned by bevo uh, most of you guys that are in the audi scene you know all about bevo tuning i will drop bevo tunings details in the description below it's been remotely mapped by ams performance ams performance the guy called Tarik was also in one of my one of my vids about a year ago very nice guy met him personally a number of times so definitely hit them guys up so this car produces around about 720 horsepower the same as what the s8 plus was but it's the torque figure in this car the torque figure on this is about 1100 newton meters of torque 1100 newton meters of torque bloody hell this car is going to have enough power to turn this planet around i don't know but i'm speechless 1100 newton meters of torque guys 1100 newton meters of torque wow I'm really excited now to get this car on those back roads. Let's give you a start up, make some noise and, and hit those back roads. That was loud. Oh, there's some more yet. I've never heard anything as loud as that now the old s8 plus that my uncle had was no way as loud as this i don't know what people have done or what tune it's running but this with the same exhaust as the s8 plus is much louder i mean i spent a lot of time in the s8 plus so i definitely know how much well how loud that was and this is just off the scale right time to hit those country lanes engine this is I'm at the moment I'm just gonna cruise in this as though I'm just in comfort mode which I am the gearbox is in comfort mode and it just makes you feel like how powerful it just gives you that sense of how powerful this engine is even in comfort mode whereas in most like performance cars that I've been in like my M4 the M5 that I was in you know you got to really flick them up into like say the full-on sports mode to really like get them feeling like anything special this in itself 720 horsepower 1100 newton meters of torque in comfort mode is apparent man when i'm gonna flick this into like sports mode i bet all the hell's gonna break loose man driving this car it sure is <laughs> you know the best thing about this is i'm on these country lanes this is a big car but it doesn't even feel that big these seats they're massaging me right now guys 720 horsepower 1100 newton meters of torque i know i've said that enough times already in this video <laughs> but i've got massaging seats and my passengers had i got them they could also have the same 
in the back reclined as well. Yeah. So, yeah, and that's bongo by the way that you can hear. And then you got that soundtrack, that mirror tech. Keep, res, keep, res deleted. keep in mind that's in comfort mode. You're in comfort mode, mode, right? That's in comfort okay. mode, yes. We're in comfort mode and it's still making that noise. See, I drove your car in the last one, which was the S8 Plus, um, for whatever reason. And this is probably a testament to like Bevo tuning and AMS performance as well, how you know they've mapped this. But I personally feel, because obviously I've driven this car a bit as well from before, right. I personally feel that this is that little bit quicker than the other car. I think it's probably to do with the, how much torque it's got, maybe. Maybe, because I think the other car had what? About 900 uh, I think so we'll have to re-watch re that video. Re-watch re that video. I'll link you up in the description yeah. up here. Um, and also we had that on the dyno as well. So again, I'll link that vid in as well. Mm. But this thing is amazing, man. Is, oh. I'm going to whack it into sports mode. Stick it into... You do it for me, man. No, <laughs> Stick it into dynamic. dynamic yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. You know, I made my mind up, you know, my next car's got to be a V8. It's got to be <laughs> a V8. Because this thing sound, has got the sound. The sound is awesome. And you got the power as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the power, you got the sound. Cool I'll just have to close that sunroof, man, because you guys are not going to be able to hear me just oh, right I'll there. close the window for a bit. Oh. <laughs> you know, I've driven, as you guys are aware, I've driven some fast cars on the channel. I had the M5. Uh, wrench tuned 750 odd horsepower in there. Amla, if you're watching, I'm sorry, man. This car just blows your car out of the water, and that's not like anything bad about that car. I mean, it just goes to show that Whoa. I am pinned. <laughs> and you know, the best thing is, it doesn't even feel like it's a big car. What is this? Every time, yeah. I'm, <laughs> every time I come out with you, there's always an ice, ice cream, cream man. man. But we never buy an ice cream. That's nah. the problem. Oh no way! <laughs> every jinx man with ice cream vans on this road, aren't we? We see him again. We buy an ice cream. We definitely. Man. I'm gonna have always been buying an ice cream. How odd is that? The last two times I've come out in this, well, not in this car, in the S8 Plus, the first time and the second time, we've always seen an ice cream van on this road. <laughs> Probably the same one. Probably the same one. Uh, sound. Already are. That was redlining at 7,000 RPM. This car isn't quick, guys. This car is mentally quick. Big, thank, big thanks to AMS Performance. <laughs> AMS Performance, Bevo, man. Bevo tuning. Bevo tuning. Those guys are magicians, man, at what they're doing. This thing is mind bogglingly quick, man. Keep in mind, uh, Bevo tuning. I mean, he's got an RS6 himself. Yes, he has. That's running it? 700, yeah. I can't remember, 750, I yeah. think it is. So he knows how to work on his V8s. Yeah. Hit Bevo up like a number of times on Instagram because I'm always following him, and I'll drop his Instagram in somewhere in the description of this vid as well. The guy is a magician, man. I mean, like really good. the amount of stuff that he does to Audis. You know, personally, I'll be honest, I'm more of a BM guy, but the love for Audis that I've seen through like what he does is, you know, unbelievable. Um, but with this car, I mean, you know, you've got all the luxury items, 22-way adjustable seats, so. they're massaging me, like I say. Yep. And at my disposal, under my right foot, 1100 newton meters of torque. Wow. And it redlines to about 7000, yeah, and it's just goes, man. Oh, this is crazy, this is. <laughs> you know, that's one thing I do miss, you know, in my M4 because it doesn't do any of this. Oh, doesn't it? Nah, nah. No pops and bangs. Nah. Once you get it tuned, I'm sure you'll get the pops and bangs. Now we've got a drum, drummer in the boot. Yeah. We've done all of those gunshots, we've done all of that pops and bangs right there. 
and stick the car back into normal drive mode there we go and now we're just back in like a, a normal limo with 700 horsepower quiet as anything now now let me just tell you a little bit about this now yeah those of you that haven't watched my last video which is in the description below my uncle he's not just one of these guys that goes and buys a car and then just tunes the shit out of them his car history right let me just tell you about it his last car before this one which was like um, was an M5 M5, M5 uh, F10 F10 prior to that was a Audi S8 Plus S8 Plus prior to that was an RS6 RS6 Performance there you go I'm missing that bit because uh, he has uh, to tell me 720 brake yeah. horsepower talk us about your Porsche history oh, the Porsches, come on man Porsches, Porsches. where do I start 996 turbo, polar silver, manual, and then my heart felt like getting a slightly newer shape than 997 at that time, 0.1. Oh, brilliant, I call that. So then I part exchanged that, I uh, got the 997.1. Same again, <clears throat> it was uh, manual again, but this was in guards red. Uh, right, then after that, what did I get after that? 997.1, yeah, 997.2, turbo S, cabriolet. The white one. The white one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I kept that for a year, and then, yeah. Then I went for the nine nine one. Uh, that was in the guards red by chance again. Yeah. Lovely, lovely, lovely car. I mean, the Porsche is. A Porsche is a Porsche, Porsche right? Honestly. That was an amazing car. And after that, you know, he's gone and he's had like you know the RS6 and you know the Audi S8 and the M5 and now the Audi S8 Plus, then the M5 and now this. I mean, the M5 on. was a beautiful car. I mean, yeah. I love a BMW just myself. A real car that you mentioned, the E30 yeah. M3 uh, left hand drive, left hand drive convertible. <laughs> an awesome, awesome car. But uh, times changed, and I had to sell it, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, so I've had quite a bit of experience of yeah. quite a few different cars. And like I said to you about the M5, it was a yeah. lovely, lovely car. Yeah. But then coming out of a tune S8 Plus yeah. into the M5, yeah. M5 road rolling was better by yeah. far. No doubt. Well, it's about a driver's it. car, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's an well, you see, the thing with the M5s is that, you know, they are rear wheel drive, unless now you go yeah. for the F90s, yeah. the F10s yeah, exactly. are rear wheel drive. Exactly. So they can get quite skittish, as we know, and yeah. obviously owning an M4, which mine is stuck. And for those of you guys that are wondering what's happening with the M4, um, I've just had it uh, serviced, just done a ma major service on that just now. So I'll be hoping to get that car remapped as well. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned for that. So guys, very quickly, what we'll talk to you now about is the way this car looks right now is completely different how this car was when you took delivery of it. Yeah, you was there, I mean, uh, last December. Yes, so. Yeah, the delivery of it in Rappart. Rappart, yeah, so right, yeah. again, so, yeah. most of you guys that have followed the channel, I spent a lot of time at Rappart wrapping or doing work to the G23 series and my M4. Uh, so I got a good rapport built with like Rappart. And one day I was there and this car got delivered and I looked at it when it turned up. <laughs> I was a bit disappointed. The S8 Plus, which looked absolutely amazing. And then this came with like the silver wheels. It didn't look yeah. like this. It, it just looked like... Well, a, okay. a basic car. A basic car. It just looked <laughs> for, like for a normal anyway. A8, right? That's right, yeah. And I was like, what have you done, man? Like, you, yeah, S8 Plus to an M5 and then to this. this. But the finished article, as most of you guys can see now, you know, it's like, it's a... It's worlds apart, you know, total <laughs> worlds apart. I mean, your S8 Plus wasn't a poverty spec car, no, let's no, face it. Yeah, but nice the thing is, like, so the S8 Plus didn't have a head-up display, and this car does, and, you know, it's it's a huge, you know, kind of a plus point on the car that's got this much power. You want to be looking there, yeah, not down there. the spec that this so, has got, which the S8 Plus <laughs> never had, I just quickly just mentioned it, is, yeah. like, as you mentioned, the, head, the heads-up display, yeah. S8 Plus never had it. It never had lane assist. It yeah. never had side assist. Yeah. It never had the solar panel sunroof. Yeah. It never had the rear electric heated cool yeah. side seats. I mean, what more can I say? What more can you say? So, you know, and, and that's the thing. Like, this is this should have been the SA Plus, really. With this, yeah, I suppose it's a lot like a lot of German cars. Yeah, it's what you, boxes you, you tick when you order yeah. brand new. I mean, if you look at the market in Germany, for example, yeah. on the SA Plus, yeah. they come with everything, yeah. even the rear screens, yeah. the, the works. When you look at the UK market, yeah. the SA Plus. It's like a tick is, box, isn't yeah, it? It's got, to, it's got to tick all those boxes. not much of a spec on them. Audi and they must have options. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, we got drum, drum in the boot? Yeah. But yeah, honestly, this car is amazing. You know, um, it's a huge, like I say, it's a huge car, but it doesn't feel that big. We know how low the car is. Yeah. I mean, you're driving it now. Yeah. How would you say how how's the, the uh, ride complex? I it's, mean, it is low. It's a good point that you make because this car is on air, air suspension. Air suspension. Yeah. Then and it's and it's been lowered as air, well. Airmatic lowering links. Yeah. Airmatic lowering links. And it's lowered approximately between 45 to 50 yeah. millimeter, which is yeah. Which is a fair bit. Yeah, and you can see from this little clip here, the car like being like raised and lowered. Um, but coming back to your point, how does this ride? I mean, I'm on these roads pretty much every weekend. I've been coming here since I was like 18 when I got my license. Well, no. <laughs> um, let's not say how long ago that was, yeah. But these roads, you know, I know exactly how they are. Um, so what do you think then? How does it mean that it's lowered and how does it drive on these roads from your experience? Right, so one of my comfiest cars that I've had, right, yep. I would say it was my E-Class Merc. All right, right, yeah. A good few years ago. Was that, that lowered? Was, no, no, that was All stock. Right. That okay. was before me getting into any kind of lowering right, okay. business. I was just thinking about that. the uh, nah. ride comfort. So that was the comfiest car that I had, right? Now bear in mind, this is riding and that had, I think, 18 or 19 inch wheels. Now this has got 21 inch alloys. It's been lowered. Yes, it's probably newer than that car and it's an SA and it's got this much power this is much more comfier than that car that I had and it's far more comfier than like my current two cars obviously the M4 and whatnot I can't even tell the cars lowered I've been going over all these potholes exactly. and stuff you know without worrying about them um, that's not to say that okay you know it's gonna go over the bumps and stuff without no, you know, you throwing be, your splitter off you gotta be extra careful the thing is right now you know I've said again I'm being massaged as I'm driving like along this road in these like seats. Um, that coupled with the air suspension, albeit it's like lowered, it doesn't affect like the ride quality. I mean, I'm throwing it around corners and stuff. Yes, okay, admittedly there's going to be a bit of body roll. Yeah, for the size of the car. You for the size of the car, but, but the thing is it doesn't feel like a barge to drive. I mean, I've been in like some cars where you kind of go around these kind of corners and you know, they're much smaller cars and you kind of feel all that lean and stuff. Yeah, this, you I don't feel it. Exactly so. I think it's absolutely bang on, if I'm honest. Um, but guys, you know, I'm gonna end the video here because it's getting a bit dark and I need to get on as well. So hopefully guys, you have enjoyed this video. Definitely check out Vivo Tuning, AMS Performance, all of their details are in the description below. I'm sure most of you guys have heard of MSL as well. So yeah, huge thanks to yeah. them for getting this car on the dyno and getting those figures to where they are. Um, you know, let me just remind you, 720 horsepower, 1100 Newton meters of torque. Uh, it's a huge number that, so. Uh, Hopefully guys, I'll see you on the next one and until then, let me give you a downshift and some throttle. <laughs> uh, it's only a Bentley in front of us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>